Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today to play with this eyeshadow palette and also try the Kai Cosmetics new liquid highlighter. So if you want to see that then please keep on watching. Okay guys, I do have plenty of new makeup to play with but I got this for a couple of months ago and I reviewed all of the palettes except this schooled one and this one has an all shimmers. Let me show you, it has only shimmers in here but we are going to play with it, we are going to use this palette on the eye because I just want to do that. I want to do the same thing I'm doing with all of the eyeshadow palettes from Odin's eye, so let's go in. We are going to use it before we go in with the face products uh, because I just like going that and I feel like if we have fallout it's going to be easier to kind of, you know, cover or clean the face. So I'm going to go in with my Hourglass eyeshadow primer. I do like this eyeshadow primer though it's not the longest it doesn't wear the longest on my on my oily eyelids, but all of the secrets and uh, good review I'm going to come up next week. So I'm preparing and I'm almost done with a video where I review plenty of eyeshadow primers that I haven't reviewed on my channel though, um, to tell you how it works on oily eyelids. So we're going to go in with that and I do want to set that eyeshadow my eyeshadow base it works the best on my eyes if I don't set it it's not going to work so I'm going to go in with me my Kaya Cosmetics eyeshadow brush with some powder I'm using the Cowgirl just to set a little bit this eyeshadow primer because if I don't do that it's going to crease okay then I'm going to go in with the same brush this is the Kaya Cosmetics number no. four brush. I really like Kaya Cosmetics eyeshadow brushes, they are very beautiful. So I'm going to go in and with this eyeshadow and we are going to place it in the crease with a fluffy, uh, with a fluffy brush. This is a shimmer shade, I don't usually go with shimmer shades on the crease or into the crease but we're going to go with that in this video and I mean it doesn't it's a beautiful shade though, I have to admit, and it's very pigmented. And I have to be honest, it's applying very nice with a fluffier brush too. I mean, you can use shimmery eyeshadows in your crease if you want to. I know there are people doing that. I don't usually go for that, but I mean, it's not for me. It's makeup. You can take it off if you don't like it. I mean, the makeup is so personal. Do what you like, use what you like, doesn't matter what other people think. And I love playing with makeup, I love experimenting, I love trying new things and new techniques, so I'm definitely going to go with that. I'm going to use this dark blue shade with this kind of brush. I know this is, well, I don't know what kind of brush this is. Doesn't say on it. Doesn't pick up the big amount of this eyeshadow. Oh, this is a beautiful eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. And I do have a little bit of fallout, but we did count on that. Oh, such a beautiful eyeshadow though. Look at that shimmer. And I'm using the brush. It looks so darker when I look straight, but when I turn my eye and you see the shift, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Going to be the same brush, just change the side, going with this dark uh, green. Just connect these two. Oh, beautiful shade. Look at that. And these two work very nicely together. That's stunning. And I can't believe it's, it's going on the eye so easily with the brush. Kind of, you know, fluffier kind of brush. Usually I like my fingers. Let's try with the finger just to see how it's going to apply with the finger. But usually, oh, oh my God, look at that. Well, <laughs> um, let's go with the blue with the other finger just to kind of dip it up a little bit on the edge. Touch the under eye, but we are going to clean that. My God, this is stunning. Look at this eye look. So I'm going to go, you know, and try to 
blend this too a little bit. That's stunning, guys. That's stunning. I love that a lot. I mean, definitely a lot of fallout, I have to say. I mean, I did count on that, but have that in mind. Okay, then I'm going to try to use a more dense brush and I'm going to clean my Linda Halberry brush that I usually like to use. Shimmer shades and this is Linda Halberry 305. And I do want to go in with this yellow shade that we have here. Hope, I think it's called. Yes, it is. It says Hope. Oh. Look at that pigmentation, guys. I don't know what to say, and I don't think I need to say anything. I think this eyeshadow is speaking for itself. Let's go in with the next product. This is the Kaya Cosmetics Pearl Swirl. Swirl? Pearl Swirl. This is the liquid highlighter. I have two shades. I have Pearl Swirl and Bronzed Beach. There is a third shade that it's a little bit deeper, but it's too deep for me, so I didn't buy it. But these are huge. First of all, it's around 20... Is it around $25? If not more, I'm going to put price on the screen. But it's on their website. And first of all, I thought it was a little bit too expensive for liquid highlighter. I do, liquid, I do love liquid highlighters. I prefer liquid highlighters more than powders. But they usually remove the makeup. Some of them usually remove the makeup. And I do have a Practs Cosmetics liquid highlighter that I love, but Practs Cosmetics, unfortunately, is not available anymore because release any new products. And I think it has with COVID and everything to do. I'm not really sure, but unfortunately, you can't purchase it anymore. But I've been using this one from uh, Liquid Illuminator from Mecca Makeup and I've been loving it. It's really good. But Kaya Cosmetics released new and I thought it was too expensive, but you get a lot of product here. And it's 50 milliliters, which is a lot. And this is made in Italy. Now I did throw uh, the outside packaging, but it's just like a cardboard. This is the lightest shade, Pearl swirl it's kind of a thick consistency and i did use this on my face it actually gives you that natural glow wet glow this is the bronzed beach the second shade bronze beach is a little bit too dark for me to use as a highlighter so this is the lightest shade and this is the next shade now you can see they're beautiful but I want to use both of them today and um, I just wasted a ton. But I am going to go in with the bronzed all over my face and I'm going to put my foundation on and then I'm going to highlight with the lighter shade. And they don't say that you can use it all over the face, but usually with the liquid highlighters like this, you, if you want that nice glowy makeup look and you have dry skin, People like that, like that Charlotte Timberley, uh, Timberley and Huda Beauty's one. They are different kind of liquid highlighters that you can use all over the face. And I want to try that. So, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. If it turns out to be a disaster, it will be a disaster. So I'm going to go in with that all over my face. I do have oily skin, so I usually don't use uh, liquid highlighters all over my face. But I did use the Marc Jacobs one that I got from my friend Valerie a couple of years ago and I love that one and even if I have oily skin some I do use matte foundations okay see this is how it looks all over the skin I mean it's easy to blend easy to blend oh, it's still a little bit sticky it's easy to blend and you get a lot of product guys it smells nice. This one will definitely work for me when I have more tan, like a highlighter. But I want to see how it's going to look under the makeup, you know, under the foundation, if it's going to give me that nice glow. So the foundation I'm going to use today is actually the Healthy Foundation from 
um, physician's formula. I don't have a lot of it left, so I don't want to use it up. And I'm going to apply it with a, uh, with a sponge. Let's see how this is going on. I always get foundation in my hair. I really like this foundation. Ooh, this is working beautifully together. So the foundation is going on very nice on the skin. I didn't apply any primer because I don't feel like I needed it today. I mean, this liquid highlighter is like a primer and it's going on very nice. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like I have plenty of product on my skin and it definitely gives me the nice glow. And I have to be honest, my foundation looks amazing on top of this liquid highlighter. The, don't mind my foundation in my hair, always get foundation in my hair. It looks flawless, it looks beautiful. I really like how my skin looks. I'm going to go with a concealer and for the concealer, I'm going to go in with this um, Joa Truly Yours dark circle concealer because I do have dark circles and I do like this concealer. This is uh, from a friend Valerie. She sent this to me because this is definitely not available here in Sweden but you, I can always ask my friend Valerie to send more. It's a beautiful concealer. See? Definitely hides my dark circles and the fallout. So I am going to go in with the same powder and set my under eyes. I'm just going to set my under eyes because I'm going to go with a cream, cream bronzer and cream blush just because we are glowing today and we don't want mattify too much. But my under eyes is going to crease and I need my under eyes to look a little bit more matte. So we are going to go in with a cream bronzer and I'm going to go in and use my Charlotte Timberley bronzer. It's one bronzer that I have, actually the only cream bronzer. I do have another cream bronzer. This is the Laritz Cosmetics cream bronzer also that I like, but it's more like a contour shade, but I don't want that today. So I'm going to go in with this one and I'm going to use this makeup Makeup Mecca brush that it's, I think this is a foundation brush, but I do really love it for this cream bronzer because it's, it blends the bronzer effortlessly. It looks amazing, applies it very nice. So we are going to use the sponge just to, you know, make everything blend into each other. Love that. More of the bronzer because I do love a lot of bronzer. We are definitely going to go in with the cream blush and I'm going to use my Natasha Denona cream blush. And let's blend. Everything is blending very, very nice. I'm going to finish the makeup look before we go in with the highlighter. And I am going to go in with this palette again and let's use other shades so we are going we have two shades we didn't use we didn't use this utopia this purple pinkish shade and we didn't didn't use the orange one so i am going to use them right now i want to use this kind of flatter brush this is zoeva 226 smudger i think it's called and let's go in with this utopia shade here Let's see if it's going to work. Yeah, it's there. We're going to go half. On the eyes, it looks like duochrome, orange, blue, pink, purple shift. Stunning. Let's just swatch it to show you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beautiful shade going to use the same brush and go in this brilliant orange and that one we are going to apply on the rest. 
Okay guys, I've been away for 40 minutes, so I have been having this makeup on for 40, more, 40 minutes and it's because my card was full on my camera, so I had to upload pictures or videos onto my computer, so it took a while. But here I am, I didn't do anything uh, after going with the lower lash line. I think this palette is beautiful, look at this. And it still haven't started creasing. Well, it's been only four minutes. I did have my glasses on, so that's why this part of my nose looks weird. But otherwise, I really look how my makeup looks, and it feels very light, and it feels very nice, and it looks good. I do have big pores, big pores, but I don't have any primer under my skin, so my pores are visible. But maybe I will go with a pore filling primer before I go with this highlighter, but I do like it. We are going to use the Care Cosmetics highlighter as a highlighter and we are going to go with the pearl swirl, swirl with this lighter shade and I'm going to apply it here on my hand and I'm going to go with the finger first. Let's go with the finger on this side. Oh, that's a nice... And I've been using this before, <laughs> before, not before, but I've been using it two days now and it doesn't move my foundation. And that's how it looks. It looks very nice, wet and beautiful. Let's go with the sponge on this side just to see the difference. But there is no difference actually, I have to be honest. It looks nice with fingers and it looks nice with the sponge. It doesn't remove my makeup, it just looks wet. It doesn't look all too much, it just looks wet and it looks very nice. And I really like it. Really like it. I really, really like this highlighter there, I have to be honest. I'm enjoying it a lot. So this is my new favorite for under foundation and also on top of the foundation because it looks good. It does look good. Okay, and this packaging is huge, so it will last you a long, long time. If you use it every day under your makeup, you will go through this faster, but it is plenty of product. And I do like packaging, this kind of packaging, I look that's like you can squeeze the product if there is anything left but I really enjoyed it joy it okay let's go with the um, eyebrows I'm just going to fill them with my saffron old eyebrow pen it's wrong shade but I'm just well, not doing anything special with my eyebrows just filling them in a little bit I'm going to set everything I'm going to go in with my creme I'm silk setting spray I love this setting spray and I'm going to curl my eye my eyes no curl my lashes I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Sky High mascara I enjoy this mascara a lot but it's a pain in the butt to remove for the lips I am going to go in with Charlotte Timberley's Nude Kate lipstick. And I do want to go with a uh, lip gloss on top and I'm going to go in with a darker lip gloss to deep up this shade and it's from Pat McGrath. I think it's fresh. I can't see the name of this lip gloss, but it's the darker shade of those two. And I love this combo. This is the final look. I'm not going to do anything with my hair. Usually I don't do that because I just feel like it. I don't want to. Okay, so let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. Now, the eyeshadow palette is just amazing. It's worth every penny. It's beautiful. It's easy to use. It's just everything. That will be... I used all of the shades in this. And I love all of the shades. Look at the shift. 
they melt to each other, that it's beautiful, you get fallout. But this is a very nice texture and they are very easy to use. You see, I also applied the blue one into the crease and it doesn't look bad. I prefer matte eyeshadows into, in the crease, but I wanted to play with this, only this palette today, and I'm very glad that I did it. Very glad. And also, I really, really love the Kaya Cosmetics. I do enjoy Kaya Cosmetics. I highlighters, liquid highlighters, they're huge, look at it. It's huge and I really enjoy them. Really, very happy with the results. I also like how nice and healthy my makeup looks with this under my foundation. I do like this foundation too, it's beautiful foundation, but with, together with this highlighter, it just looks very natural and nice healthy glow well i also use all of the cream products and i didn't set my makeup i just set my under eyes so my concealer won't crease but i really really enjoy these these highlighters and i really like them so i won't stop i will stop talking about them because you will get tired and that's not the point but i'm very happy with this makeup look i'm not going anywhere i'm just going to sit home play games and relax it's rainy, uh, the weather is a big disaster outside, but I'm here, you're here watching. Thank you so much, guys. Tell me down below what you think about this makeup look. What do you think about these products? Do you want to try them? Let me know down below if there is any product you want me to try out and compare. I will love that, that will help me a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, and i see you in my next one. Bye, guys.